We can, ladies and gentlemen, Widow Seven. Hell yeah! Yes, gentlemen, welcome back. We appreciate you guys. We, we, we invited you back to do some follow-up questions because last time we had you on the show, uh, you were working on some stuff. Those things have happened. You've been playing festivals left and right. Good things are falling in your lap all the time. Man, I'm excited. But uh, for those that may not know you guys, Mark and Seth, could you please properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are. Plug or promote anything you'd like. Um, I'm Mark Leon. I am the singer of Widow 7. We are based out of Des Moines, Iowa. Um, and I don't know. That's, <laughs> I, I thought I had something, but I didn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Seth. I play bass, and um, um, yes, yeah, I sing a little bit. Mark's got the voice of an angel, and I, I just try not to look stupid. The voice of an angel. I agree. I gotta agree right there. My co-host today is uh, is Michaela right here. Michaela, welcome to uh, the Boys hey. Widow Seven, uh, fellas. What is it? What Hello, is it Michaela. like? to be invited back to Welcome to Rockville. Before we go any further, let's talk about that. That's That's gotta be one of the larger, if not largest festival in the States, I would think. And it's gotta feel like an honor to be to be invited back. You must've killed it the first time. Yeah, absolutely. And um, yeah, we have the the festival goers to thank for it. Uh, we played last or this year and they really showed out for us. And I think the festival organizers noticed um, how big of a crowd we had for being the first band of the day. And uh, they brought us back. It's it's a gigantic honor. Like, we feel so much, like, I guess it's probably bad to say, but, like, I feel like a fish out of water. Like, it's 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 uh, it's kind of unreal. Like, it doesn't even seem like it's, like, it, I don't know, like I'm dreaming or something. It's crazy. It's, yeah, it's, we're, we're happy for you guys, man. Thank you so much. It's that, We're super grateful for everybody that's helped us get to this point. You know, everybody that's, you know, either, you know, participating in buying merch or coming to the shows or helping to give us a leg up anywhere. You know, thanks to you guys, too, for having us on the show again. We appreciate it so much. Oh, it's our pleasure. Mark, if if a small time band is watching right now, what advice would you give them on how to get to be playing these kind of festivals? Don't give away all the secrets, but just, just some advice <laughs> that, that you could give to them to to try and accomplish that. Um, well, the way we did it is we went on to the DWP Twitch stream back when it was Space Zebra. Well, I mean, it's still Space Zebra, but yeah, yeah like um, we did that and we just hustled. We saw opportunities, took them. My main thing is if you see an opportunity, take it. Like, obviously be smart about it, but like take every opportunity you can. I mean, that's pretty pretty good advice. Michaela, what uh, what questions do you have for the gentleman before we play one of their songs? So, like, what was the turning point for you guys when you started to realize, like, the crowd getting bigger and bigger and you guys were, like, starting to gain this momentum throughout this past year? I think for me, it was at um, Rocklahoma. Yeah. Like we, we scheduled like this little meet and greet thing. We always throw our, our stuff off the stage as quick as we can. And then we try to hit the barricade to meet everybody and you know, sign stuff or if they want a picture or whatever. And uh, Mark's always the first one down. I got to get my stuff off stage. And I got my stuff off stage and I came around the corner and Mark was like pinned against the <laughs> fence with like three or four hundred people like waiting. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, Hell we yeah. Set up a, we were trying to set up like. A photo booth and like we should have put up a table but like that was the first time we we're like oh we can't do this anymore unless it's organized because this is insanity like we all four of us <laughs> back against the chain link fence just like yeah, yeah hand us hand us whatever and like people are jumping in for pictures like it was amazing it was so cool but yeah that was like the moment where like oh this is this this needs organized this is chaos friendly chaotic if it's okay it's with awesome if it's okay with you fellas, I'd like to play my favorite song in your entire catalog, which coincidentally happens to be the newest one. We're starting Fire With Fire! Let's get it! I'm fighting fire with fire! Uh, I actually stole something from this song. I stole this sound. 
I love that sound so much. So I made it one of my buttons. It just reminds me of like Mario, like like turning into like he eats the mushroom and gets bigger. But that's why I love that sound. I had to I had to jack it. I'm sorry. That song is lit, man. From start to finish, it's just like you just the one, two, three, four, maximum energy on the next one. Like the whole song, I love it. Give me uh, give me an example of how a Widow Seven song starts from scratch in the writing process. Uh, I think uh, the first thing we do is we come up with like what the vibe of the song is going to be kind of like the overall tone. And then like from that, we just kind of base it off of that. And then we start riffing and whatever sticks, sticks. <laughs> yeah. Do you do you typically use lyrics that are impactful to yourself, Mark? Or is it just based on whatever the vibe of the song is? It's kind of which direction you're going to go lyrically. Um, it's, it's a mix of both. Like it, it, like depending on feeling definitely plays, plays its part in our lyrics. Yeah. Usually I walk in and I'm like, what do you want to talk about? You know, <laughs> and we kind of go from there. Whatever's on his chest is usually where we, where we go. It kind of sees the moment or whatever's there, that energy or emotion, whatever. Is, is there a particular song, Seth, like where you're like, you know what? F I'm taking over today on, on the lyrics. I want the song to be no, no? okay. Because <laughs> you said no, you do I mean... some of the background vocals. You never know. No, no. I mean, we like we sit in a room, you know, like three or four of us, and we kind of kick out ideas. But it's all about what's best for the song. Yeah, that's cool. I got gotcha. you, gentlemen. Were you able to bring any hot sauce today? I can go grab some. <laughs> Excellent. Fantastic. Before you do, before you do, real quick, uh, the reason I ask is we like to do a trivia portion where I ask you a question, and if I stump you, then you have to take a swig of hot sauce. If not, I will. Plus, I'll spin the wheel. But the, here's the kicker. You get to pick the topic. What movie or TV show have you seen the most? For if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, you will not get stumped. Shit. You want to pick it? You want me to or do we each get a pick? Because we're like vastly different in what yeah. we what See we if do. you can come up with a mutual one. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'll go ahead and spin one more track. Let's do, uh, is there one in particular we should play that you'd like us to play? I mean, Fire was the newest. Uh, what Everybody seems to gravitate. Well, there's not really a particular one. You put up a post the other day and it's all over the place, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm still. That's good, to that's, that's a good sign. How about Low Life? Everybody likes that guitar riff a lot. Low Life it is. I'll check in with you in about 30 seconds. Let me know what you guys have picked <laughs> for the topic. Low Life. Certify Bop for sure. Certify. <laughs> yes. What it, what that, it, that, one, that one was written as a festival vibe. We went into the studio and we're like, hey, uh, what's, what, that was before Welcome to Rockville this year. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We yeah. went into the studio with that vibe like, hey, we're playing this festival. We want like you said, a bobber, we want a clapper, we wanted to give everybody a clap, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's where all the all that came from. <laughs> <laughs> a bobber and a clapper, I like that. So you're Mr. Producer Man, give, give me a clapper, give me a bobber. Yeah. I got you. What uh, what movie or TV show did you guys uh, decide on? Uh, Step Brothers. I think we'll do Step Brothers. Step Brothers Heard. Michaela, could... go ahead and ask a question real quick while I find some Step Brothers trivia. So, like, what bands um, got you into, like, st like getting interested in the music? Like, what bands started it off for you guys? Nice. Go ahead, Mike. You go uh -huh. first. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> you a blank? I'll go. We're from Iowa, so, like, Slipknot, of course. Like, when okay. we were in our, our formative years, that's when, like, Slipknot was just breaking. So, like... Being from here, they set the bar really, really high for for the people to come out of here. Absolutely, which is cool, which is great. It keeps quality very high. Um, but yeah, that's probably the main one for me was like Slipknot, seeing them on a magazine cover and seeing Iowa written on it on Hit Parader. I was like, what is this? Yes, uh, Lincoln Park was a big Lincoln one for Park. me. Like that was the thing that made like I remember when uh, Hyper Theory came out. I used to. Literally every time I got home from school, it'd be three o'clock in the afternoon. Remember it perfectly. I'd go put the CD in and like turn it to a hundred and start like I would sing the whole album from front to back. Such it, a good album. It is one of the best albums ever made for sure. Yeah. 
And I think I actually would argue that Meteora was a great follow up also, but I feel like a lot of people think there's a substantial drop off from Hybrid Theory to Meteora, and I, I kind of don't I agree. I don't think so. Yeah. yeah, I don't think so at all. They're the kings of like evolving and staying relevant at the same time. Right. I t yeah, I totally agree. Let's see if we can stump you on some Step Brothers trivia. <laughs> He's got to come up with something, like, super deep, too, I know. Well, I start off with an easy one to judge right. how many times you've really seen it. And then if you get the easy one, I crank it up and give you an almost impossible one. <laughs> <laughs> At Robert and Nancy's wedding, Brennan says he does not want a certain dish. What dish does he not want? I don't think he ordered. He didn't order the chicken. The chicken. the chicken. That's what you're going with? Yeah, didn't he order steak? So you're saying he ordered a steak, but he did not want the chicken. Right. That is it. Correct, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> that, my friends, is incorrect. It is the salmon. Salmon. Salmon, salmon is the answer. And so that was the easy one. Okay. That was the easy one. <laughs> so uh, feel free to enjoy the hot sauce. Uh, I'll, I'll take a swig with you, no worries. I'll, I'll still be game. I'm gonna do the, the dragon's breath hot sauce and uh, we'll, right. we'll fire off a couple more questions. When you guys are at these these big festivals, do you get, I know you kind of have, so you have essentially a backstage pass and all that, but as the day goes on, are you still able to like interact and meet with all the big, big time bands, like chit chat with them, possibly set up networking for the future? Or is it kind of like the bigger guys stay separated? No, no. I mean, we've we've uh, we've interacted with with several people and some of our peers that we know personally, like play those festivals too. But there's been a couple like shell shocking times, like the biggest one. I know, I know, you know what I'm talking about. Is like, so we're standing there talking to Matt Penfield, and then Jacoby from Papa Roach walked up and like introduced himself as if we didn't know who he was. Yeah, <laughs> was like, Hi, I'm Jacoby. I sing at Papa Roach. We're like. Who's that? Yeah, the fuck you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Whoa. Now he's the nicest dude. Yeah. Yeah, he's really so nice. nice. He saw Mark a couple of times later that night and he's just like, my man. Yeah. Hell yeah. He was cool. like, I gotta see you guys play. And I'm like, yes. Yes, yes please. You do. <laughs> that is that is a cool moment. Uh Seth, feel free to go grab the hot sauce. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take a swig. I'm not gonna forget. Take the swig. And uh Michaela, do you have another question for Mark? Um, so what, what have you guys been listening to lately? Like the new school stuff, that's like any inspiration behind the music that you guys are oh, creating? Dude, I, I, uh, I have a really weird taste in music. Um, I'll, uh, like some of the stuff I've been listening to lately mm -hmm. is, uh, this, uh, artist, her name's Mitsuki. Uh, Meat she's like a, yeah. I'm not familiar. Yeah, she, uh, she, oh, dude, she's she's amazing. Uh, been listening to a lot of uh, Haley Williams stuff. Absolutely. What do you think of the new Paramore singles that are out? Oh, I think they're sick, dude. I they're so the different. One, there's, I love it because yeah, it's so different. The uh, the the first one, uh, this is why. Uh, that one sounds like her solo project stuff to me. I was like, this just sounds like a Haley Williams song. But I still love it. Uh, and then uh, the news, the, ah, it, that is a really sick song. Yeah, I love me some Haley Williams for sure. Totally agree. Seth, what what uh, what sauces did you grab, sir? It's it's really hot shit. Um, or Ortega Mild. Have you heard of this stuff? <laughs> Ortega Mild. <laughs> Sounds brutal. <It's> so hot. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> on, a, on a vanilla almond almond flour cracker, rosemary and sea salt, baby. Hell yeah. Living the dream. Living the dream. Yeah. does not do hot. <laughs> Dude, mild salsa makes me sweat. Ch Chad good. says negative 200,000 Scovels. <laughs> 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 that is hilarious. <laughs> Well, we hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, I'll go ahead and set up another Step Brothers question for you here in a minute. But uh, what what are some goals 
in 2023 that you guys have set out? Obviously, uh, I imagine some more singles would be coming, but what is what is something that is a little bit of a harder to achieve goal that you set for yourself for next year that maybe wasn't a goal for this year? Um, the, like we're trying to really, uh, come super focused this year. Like we went down to Nashville and we recorded a song, um, with a really good producer, Andrew Bayless. He's worked with the uh, sleeping, uh, sleeping, with, sleeping sirens. with sirens, jelly roll, co um, a bunch, a bunch of people, but, uh, we had the opportunity to get into his studio. So, um, we're going to shoot a couple music videos in March and then we're doing a, a full like campaign with a couple new songs and trying to gain some ground because we haven't we've only been a band for a couple years, but it's just we found ourselves in the right place at the right time when we debuted and it, it took off really a lot quicker than we ever thought it would. Um, so we have a really good following from festivals and stuff, but like we're trying to increase, you know, our listenership and things like that. Like we've gone really quickly. So we're trying to like swoop back and grab people. There's a lot of people that have never, ever heard of us. Well, we, uh, so, we, so you're, so you're saying you, you did a couple of singles with the, the guy in Nashville to be able to do all this music or you did just one with him. We did one. We're hoping to circle back um, when he gets a little less busy. Um, but we are, we're going back to our regular studio in Cleveland, in a few weeks yeah, um, to record another one. So we'll do videos for both of those. Um, we're gonna have Eric DiCarlo come in from New York to shoot those. I, he's worked with, um, was it We Came As Romans? He just did a video or two yeah, for it. I think it was We Came As Romans. It's our first time like throwing a uh, actual budget at, you know, a couple singles and seeing what happens. Hell yeah. Well, it, sh it should, I mean, it should pop off. We hope, I think it will. Yeah, I hope so too. We're gonna we're gonna, we're putting it all out there this year, man. Just to we're gonna put it out there and see what happens. Like, I love it. You got to invest in in your craft and your passion. And you're doing exactly yeah. that. So, kudos. Yeah, and you got to you got to do it yourself. If you get the first trivia question wrong, we go a little bit easier. Okay. Here's the second one. What song is Derek's family singing in the car ride to to the new family home? Remember, oh, so remember the whole line. family is singing in the car and the wife is like oh, totally yeah. hating life when they do it. <laughs> Sweet child of mine. Yeah. That is correct. Well yeah, done. Hell yeah. All right. Come on, Shuey. Hydrate just means drink water, which is kind of boring, what? unfortunately. What the fuck is the shoe one after that? The shoey? Should we do that instead? What is the shoey? Okay, so <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. So about a little over a year ago, we had this Australian band on called Lagerstein. Lagerstein uh, is a crazy party band based on pirates. And um, they, in the middle of their set, they ask every, they play a song called the Shoey Song, and they ask everyone in the audience to take one of their shoes off. And they say, if you have an alcoholic beverage, pour that beverage pour into your shoe and consume it. I uh, happen to have a sandal here for for some somewhat, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, high hygiene shoot. reasons, I guess you'd say. But I'm going to go ahead and do that real fast. Well, we've got time for a couple more questions. Michaela, what would you say is your final question for the gentleman? Favorite album of all time. Mm -hmm. Nice. You know yours? Nice. Uh, mine is Mudvayne LD50. Sick. That's such a good album. Yeah. I they're from Peoria, one. so they're another like Midwest represent. Like Love Blooms. Um... Love Blooms? Death Blooms. Death Blooms. I said Love Blooms. <laughs> Uh, shit. Uh, I'd probably say my favorite album of all time is In Love and Death by The Used. Oh. Wow, dude. Yes. I have, I don't know if you can see it, but it That's says In Love and Death right here, oh. right there and right oh, there. Oh, sick. Yeah. I, we, had, uh, we had Joey, who's in The Used now, but I don't believe he was on that particular album, but Joey Bradford. 
And uh, we've, yeah. we've been trying to get Bird on, but he's impossible to get a hold of. But uh, that album for me is my favorite the used album and it was very impactful to me so i i feel that answer right there yeah nice. that's cool final question fellas then we're gonna let you go uh, i i i believe we may have asked this in the past Seth, but your answer might have changed i don't know but uh this is kind of a serious one what is a piece of musical advice somebody in the industry has given you guys that you're willing to share with us as far as just uh, you, it made you take your career more seriously you changed something that you were doing to be better at your at your craft or a terrible mistake you guys made in the first couple months you were a band that you do not want a starting up band to make. Um, do you mind if I get Yeah, that? go ahead, go ahead. Um, so I believe it was, I was working for Incubus over the summer and like while all this stuff was happening and their drummer, like, I don't know, this stuck with me it's very simple, but he was just like, he was like, just take it, take everything as it is. Like, don't like, don't get too in, like, don't get too involved, but also don't get like so uninvolved that you're not doing anything. It's all a, it's all a thin line or all a fine line that you have to ride. And like, when I get overwhelmed, I, like by band stuff, I, that's one of the things that I kind of repeat to myself. First of all, before you answer, Seth, how does one get a job with Incubus? Can you can you go, can you explain that, please? <laughs> I uh, I work I work for a promotion company when we're not playing shows. So, gotcha. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like, damn, it's a dream job right there. <laughs> Seth, same question, same question, and you can answer part two, part one. It's up to you. Yeah, man, that's a really really good question. Um, I don't know in my own personal experience i guess i've been i've been in bands for a long time and i toured with one band for a really long time and the demise of that band was everyone losing their foundation you know like either it was what made them them you know they lost themselves or they took like their home life for granted you know the people at home that were holding it down for them when they're out on the road like you got to keep that foundation healthy or uh, it won't work. It'll eat away at you when you're on the road. If it's unhealthy, you know, it's, it's, it's tough to do, but yeah, finding, finding a balance in life and in music and, and keeping that foundation sturdy. Good stuff. Gentlemen, we are super excited for what you guys got in store from 2023. We're excited about the new single. We're excited about the music videos coming out. We're excited about Rockville, man. You guys got a lot of stuff. I wish you the best for real. <laughs> I'm excited, man. You, man. Hell yeah. Thank you, man. Have us come back in the middle of all of it. We'll touch base with you, man. Yeah, yeah hell yeah. We'll do a follow-up a couple months from now and see see what's going on. All right, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Widow 7! Yeah, hell yeah! Have an excellent day. We appreciate it. Thank you so Cheers. much. Cheers. Ortega! <laughs> <laughs> see you guys. <laughs>